Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'll be cleaning and decorating my hearth room, or some call it sitting area. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This video, I'll be collaborating with Toppin. They gifted me a cordless vacuum cleaner. You'll see me use that in the video, as well as collaborating with Roses Forever New York. They gifted me the Intense Ivory uh, Preserved Roses. I'll tell you more about both of them later in the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I wanna go ahead and hang these drapes. I'm just going to go ahead and measure everything and move the hardware up. I'm actually coming three inches down from the ceiling because my drapes are 102 inches. I'm using the level to make sure everything is level and straight because I want my drapes to barely kiss the floor. So my measurements have to be almost accurate, almost accurate. that you may strip your screw you can always use a flat head in a Phillip head screw so in my case I kind of felt like I was about to strip the screw so I went ahead and replaced it with a flat head and it came out and went in so smooth great job on these drapes. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. These curtains were originally 108 inches made by Tahari. I had them cut down to 102 inches because they're actually supposed to go into another room. I'm just going to use them in there for now. So they're cut down to 102 inches with a four inch hem. And then I did the pinch pleat with the lining on back. So she did a really great job on um, customizing these to my liking. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the drapery pins to the back so I can attach them to the curtain rod. Remember when I said my drapery rods need to be hung almost accurate? Well, this is what I meant by that. So if you put your pins in, you can probably come up or down about an eighth of an inch, not much. You don't have much room, 
But when you come to wanting your drapes to kiss the floor, this is where you can probably make your adjustment with your curtain rods, also with your drapery pins. think I was able to zoom in real good but I'm just going to stick the drapery pins directly into the hole that's attached to the rings so I'm leaving the little clips on the back of the drapes they're not needed they're just there so if I ever wanted to have them or need them I know they are there And I did the same thing with the other panel. I'm just going to hang those and move right along. are perfect they're just like I want them kissing the floor okay I'll tell you a little bit about the top in cordless vacuum cleaner while I clean all right so it can be used on all types of floors wood towel and low rugs it can be converted from a stick vac to a handheld vac which you'll see me use it in the video it also says that it has up to 35 minutes of work time I think I used it for about 20 minutes with no problem and that was on like the low voltage because you can push the button and increase the power on it. It takes about four hours to charge. It did a really great and job. It's really lightweight. It weighs about three pounds, a little over three pounds. It took me some getting used to because of course, you know, I went from a full vacuum to this cordless vacuum, which is a lot lighter than what I'm used to working with. But once I got the hang of it, it was really easy to use. So I'm going to give this vacuum a thumbs up. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna price it or if you're interested in purchasing it. I think it was it's about $150. So it's for the price, it is a really great cordless vacuum. This is the wall mount and the attachments. I'll mount it in the laundry room later. to be using black as my accent color and of course I'll always use plants and flowers to warm up the space. Just going to cascade these black stems across the fireplace. I've had them so long I can't even remember where I got them from. This is a new ginger jar. I got it from Home Goods. As you can see, it's black, but it has flakes of gray in it. Pillows, I love these pillows. Number one, they have the feather down in them and they have the invisible zipper, which means I can turn them whichever direction I want to turn them to give them a different look. Although I purchased them for the bedroom, they have been a stellar on my sofa. I'm 
just going to place these coffee table books on the bottom. They're all in the black and gray family. And of course, beads. I am spray painting those gold and I'm just going to put them in a silver tray. It's okay to mix metals. Do what you like, especially if it's your home. to be at least 18 inches from the coffee table. I don't have end tables because there's no space on that side. So having that coffee table close to my sofa is really important. So on the other side, since I do have a end table in between the two chairs, it's not as important to me. So I'm just going to make a few adjustments. This is the finished look. I do realize I could use another set of drapes in this space if I choose to leave those drapes in that area. So for now, they look good. They work well in the space. I think it adds some, some luxury and it actually makes my room sound, sound better. There's a less echoing in the space. I just want to go over some of the tips I shared in this video. Number one, always try to hang your curtains as high as you can. Side tables should never be empty. Always have something on it, a lamp, uh, a book, an object. Plants and flowers bring warmth to a room. Number four, coffee tables should be minimum 18 inches from a sofa this allows you a place to sit your drink down or your tray or even in some situations be able to kick your feet up feathered pillows are beautiful chop some people don't like them but they are beautiful to me and the last tip it's perfectly fine if you want to mix metals mixed metals can look really good if done properly Thanks again to Forever Roses New York for gifting me these beautiful hand-picked preserved roses. These are the Intense Ivory in the square box. It's three dozens of real roses and they are said to last a minimum of a year. So I have the link to them in the description box as well as a $15 off coupon. It's a great time to get them now because they are on sale. And uh, you might want to go ahead and get ready for Valentine's Day. So look for the link in the description. We are coming to the end of this video. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me and you're not subscribed to the channel, 
please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn your notification on so you'll be the first to know when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.